this will never happen again. I will never harm anyone or ever drink and drive again in my entire life. David Hazard broke down in tears in court this afternoon as he learned his punishment. He was driving under the influence when he hit and killed Catherine O'Toole. But tonight, O'Toole's family, just as emotional and telling us it's not enough. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau is live outside court with more on this emotional day in court. This is a defendant with 13 traffic-related charges on his record dating back just seven years, including one other DUI. But after this, after this sentence, he'll be eligible for parole in about two and a half years. He was so good at thinking fun things for all of us. Kathy O'Toole's children told tales of date-filled cookies and deep-sea fishing. Their mourning, they say, endless. Healing from her loss, impossible. I don't believe so. No. I'm deeply sorry for the entire O'Toole family. Hazard made his own sobbing statement, but without impact on the O'Tools. And I hope every day in the ACI is miserable for him. I hope he has to keep his back to the wall. I hope his days go slow and they're long. Hazard was driving with cocaine, Vicodin, and two and a half times the legal limit of alcohol in his system. He was barreling down Route 12 in Situate at 71 miles per hour in a 30 mile per hour zone. Kathy O'Toole was dead on impact. Mr. Hazard, do you understand? Magistrate McAtee told the court he was following guidelines set by the legislature for a defendant who enters a plea. O'Toole says he could have and should have done more. I might go along with this seven years if it was somebody's first time. He's been on and out of the system forever. The drug addict, the drug driver on the road, repeat offender. You're not done here in his name. The attorney general emphasizes this was a straight plea, not a plea bargain, and that his prosecutor wanted a 10-year sentence, but in the end, the court was the ultimate authority. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom in Providence, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.